It is sometimes necessary to try out a disease aerosol on volunteers. In 1951, at Fort Detrick, Maryland, construction crews built a hollow metal sphere four stories high. Inside, germ weapons were to be exploded, creating mists of infectious aerosols for testing on animals and people. They called it the eight ball. Still allows the, the government to, to do open air testing, for example, on Americans without their consent, approval, or knowledge even, all under the guise of national security. The volunteer children participated with the consent of their parents. Such as Q fever, um, mycoplasma pneumonia, chlamydia pneumonia, parvovirus, brucelliosis. Brucelliosis was very interesting. The disease has the properties of a biological warfare agent. I mean, it creates um, destruction. It doesn't kill you, but it can destroy you and disable you. They were looking for agents that would do that. It mimics natural infection so they can potentially spread it through insect vectors and claim that they didn't, you know, the government didn't do it as a natural epidemic. As a scientist, I was extremely intrigued. As a victim, I thought, oh my God, what are we up against? Clad in pajamas, the masked children are ready for the test. They do have something live in the blood that is not yet identified. It's called weaponization. If you, de if you declare it a biowarfare agent, then you can conduct, you can do any experiment you want pretty much. In the summer of 2007, my sister Lori was afflicted with an illness that at 10 months later had yet to be definitively diagnosed. But why, after a month of treatment, was Lori not getting better, but getting worse? Once being told by her neurologist that everyone dies. We were all very scared of what was happening to Lori. But even more frightening was the possibility that this was something that could have been prevented, or worse, that it was intentional in the name of science and national security. You have to want to know. I mean, people people don't want to think. They don't want to be troubled. They want to watch TV and think that the world is fine. They don't want to think that their government is experimenting on people. And, and then they might have to do something about it. 